So for the ticket machine, there are these uh, uh, three fields, price, balance and total, and uh, um, they all have a name that uh, reminds of uh, um, um, uh, a monetary um, area um, and uh, in fact price uh, stores data about uh, the price of the ticket balance uh, stores the amount that is um, inserted by uh, a user and uh, total uh, works such that um, it computes uh, it keeps track of all the um, money that has been inserted so far by all the users um, these are the fields and so the, the, the uh, purpose that a field has is to uh, store data persistently in the object and uh, in this case uh, the object needs uh, these three fields in order to fulfill the operations of printing the ticket, uh, um, uh, uh, keeping track of the total um, and uh, um, to, uh, to uh, know what is the price of the ticket. Mm, so uh, it, it needs these three um, uh, data uh, stores uh, as, um, where the data is stored um, and they are like small pl places in which a, a value can be kept. Uh, to see that um, it is possible to um, uh, get um, uh, inspect maybe on the instance so I create a new instance of ticket machine yes I need to input um, price and so I have the new instance and um, what I want to uh, see is uh, um, uh, a diagrammatic representation of the class and it's, uh, it looks like this um, uh, instance uh, on the object bench but um i also need space for um looking at the fields and they each uh, contain at first when the object is created uh, no values in them and then um uh, th uh, they will appear in this uh, place when i inspect the um, class so, uh, for example, here I have uh, the field price, which is 500, and balance is 0, total is 0. Uh, what um, is uh, important to note is that uh, the, um, uh, each field has um, a uh, in the source code, each field has a, a declaration with, which is quite similar uh, to each other, to, to the other fields. Um, for all of them, 
there is the uh, reserved word private uh, and all of them all the fields will be private in our examples uh, and then there is the data type, the type uh, in this case it's int which is acceptable for um, amounts expressed in uh, cents uh, because it's whole number cents and so uh, there is this pattern that should be followed for every kind of uh, uh, declaration uh, of a field so the, the keyword private and then the uh, it should start with the keyword private then there is uh, the int or any other data type then the user chosen uh, name for the field um, and in the end a semicolon um, these uh, fields are also called instance variables because um, in uh, in a class um, it is common that um, some uh, fields change the values that is stored in them very often uh, like in this case uh, balance changes every time uh, some coin is inserted in the ticket machine and but uh, at the same time there are uh, can be also field uh, fields that uh, change very rarely or not at all uh, like price which stays the same for each instance of uh, uh, a ticket machine and uh, even if the value that is stored in this field uh, stays the same uh, it can still be called a variable um, there are also other types the other kinds of variables that um, even if they are different their uh, basic uh, purpose is to store data and uh, above and every um, declaration for a field there is a single line comment and uh, this is um, can be recognized by uh, these two characters at the start of the comment uh, there is another kind of comment uh, which is needed uh, when uh, uh, a more detailed comment is uh, um, necessary and uh, these um, start with uh, these two uh, with these two characters and end with these two characters um, comments are um, not affecting any uh, functionality for the class they only give an explanation uh, that is uh, uh, readable by the uh, human user and uh, these patterns uh, private and int um, the, the, the keyword and the uh, typed in the semicolon, the name. Uh, this is a pattern that um, uh, it can be seen uh, always when uh, defining um, a new field, and uh, uh, also in other uh, uh, source codes of classes. Um, 
there are other kinds of patterns that can be um, found uh, for, for, for other uh, purposes and uh, constructors and methods then use uh, these fields to implement their behavior uh, like in ticket machine uh, the uh, the price and balance are used to compare uh, when uh, the, the, a certain amount of money is achieved uh, is uh, inserted so that uh, the ticket can be printed um, so exercises uh, 2.12 what is the type of the following fields um, for uh, private count uh, it's um, it's in it's in uh, for private student representative it's student which is an object and server is also an object in private server host and it's a type of host then the names of the following fields private boolean alive it's alive private person tutor Tutor. Private game, game, game. From what you know about the naming conventions for classes, which of the type names in exercises 2.12 and 2.13 would you say are class names? Um, basically, every um, name that starts with uh, an uppercase letter. Uh, Even though also uh, methods contain a mix of uppercase letters, but um, since these are types, of course, uh, student server, uh, like uh, basically uh, student server person and game are class names and in the following field declaration private enterprise does it matter the order so I should experiment with this and see what happens on on the ticket machine project mm. so for it's for price okay he uh, like this it compiles we know um if I try in private price mm, it doesn't compile as I can see in the diagram the class diagram and the error is identifier expected um, I can put private at in the end In, in this case it doesn't compile uh, but the error is different it says 
as we call them expected uh, now I can put int in the middle and doesn't compile I get identifier expected error uh, I put int at the end and still identifier expected um, put price in the middle and again identifier expected um, ten wheels I can try to give try everything Okay, so now I put it back to the original place and let's see what happens if I uh, don't put the semicolon. It doesn't compile, semicolon expected. Compiles, but it doesn't compile. I know. It's compiling. Okay, I can reopen the project. Private int uh, price. Okay, then I think this is a rule. Yes, semicolon is needed at the end of a field declaration. Uh, write in full the declaration for a field of type int. Uh, whose name is status okay I will do it below total um, private all fields should be private int type and then the name is status and then the semicolon at the end 